Hi, welcome to this uh, Arcanix B system. It's XFCE. It's the new version for mid-January, and we have a beautiful wallpaper donated and created by Marco. And this video is going to be about what do I do with all these ISOs. So we have 24 ISOs plus Arcanix and Arcanix D. 26 ISOs. There are 12 desktops. One with full applications and the other with a minimal application. So 12 times 2 and 2 extra. You can make your own scripts and you can follow along what I do to install the basic, uh, the, the minimal that I require to test it to have some fun as well. So this video is about scripting and how to get uh, running. This is a clean installation. You'll see Vivaldi asking, hey, first for the first time, while asking his password, he'll never ask again if you say continue, continue, or you choose a password in there. Then I'll go to google.be. I will log in. Of course, I cannot record that, so I'll be back. All right, I logged in. Dismiss this notice, go to here, go to my Google Drive. On Google Drive, I've set something apart, a get started script or a bunch of scripts because this is a tar GZ or a zip file if you want. So a compressed file, I download it. Always, always save. This I do not need anymore. Go to Tunar, go to downloads, extract here. This is what I do on every Arch Linux B installation and then get started and then we can go inside uh, the elements that I need. What is ready in here? On every of my systems I'll have a folder called Arc Linux with all the githubs from well github.com slash Arc Linux and in, in here are all the githubs of github.com slash Arc Linux B and the same for this one. This is my personal GitHub data, so Eric Dubois, github.com Eric Dubois. The logo Eric's because sometimes you need uh, to log in somewhere, new website, new, um, new account, and they ask a logo, so I have it ready there. And then some Plasma stuff, if I am installing on Plasma, I can use that one. But basically what I want to show you is a way to get things started quickly. So the minimal start here, this is a start here, that's for full-blown installation. This is going to be my real desktop, it's not a test, it's not Arch Linux B, it's going to be my Arch Linux version, I'm going to work on it. That's start here. I'm going to show you the minimal start here, this is just more. Okay, what does this contain? Atom opens up. I do like Atom. It takes a while to load depending on your hardware and CPU and memory and all that. But it's nice to see some um, coloring in your code. For instance, in your, if you're working on Haskell, that is for Xmonad desktop, then it's useful to have a, a syntax there. You can install these packages up here and then settings view, install packages and get your Haskell syntax. Let's go over one by one. Well, so let this be a video about scripting. Maybe you think scripting is something uh, magical or anything like that. It is not. Right mouse click, create document, empty file, test.h. Do call it tos, and, uh, dot a, uh, sorry. Do call it test tos, uh, dot sh, that extension. And then makes it executable is for us a very simple thing here. Right mouse click, make executable, if not present on whatever desktop you're on. Then you remember the schmot, schmot plus x. So add the x execute to test sh. That's the same thing. And I rather like this option. So we, are, well, we recreated this option. Okay, so this is a script. That's all we did. The Colors is a little different because of this line. That's the only line and they call it the shebang, which is a very nice word, but it's just saying, hey guy, you're going to use bash in this case. So 
Um, okay, should I, should I, I can. If you type env environment, you see all the environment variables. And the environment is gonna be in there somewhere. So let's grab. Grab is taking parts of the elements out there. Let's see, so shell equals bin bash. So that's a variable telling the system A it's not using ZSH, which is an alternative, but it's using bash. So that's the same thing, bash. This is just blah, blah, it doesn't really matter. It's just for you. So with everything with a hashtag is not really regarded as important, but it's more as a reminder for yourself. If you want to tell somebody a message of, and you want to tell something to the user, this is the message, then that's what you should do, right? So echo, this is the mes message, but the uh, best thing for yourself, if, if you program something is to write uh, something like, I did this because blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's more a uh, programmer's uh, thing. This one is going to update everything without confirmation. Don't need to press yes. Just going to update everything. This is AOR, so we could make a comment. Huh? This is going to update the Arch plus the Arco repos. And this is going to update the AOR. It's that, that's the way how to use it later. And last pass will be installed. It's an um, application to uh, put everything, all, all the passwords of your and logins of your websites will be hosted online and will be encrypted and are safe in a safe, <laughs> basically. And uh, an easy and an interesting thing, an extension for browsers. It's on the iPads, it's on the Samsung Androids, iPhones, it's everywhere. And this one is going to, let's have a look. This one is going to copy paste everything recursively. So everything that's inside there as well. Mon CP. Minus R. Doesn't matter if it's a big one or a small one. So recursive copy directories recursively means a directory in a directory in a directory will be copied as well. Okay. So I want this to be copied, that one and that one at the same go. Well, with this asterisk, I don't need to type this line and then copy paste this line and say also the D line, etc. And the B, no, just anything that starts with Arch Linux and then I don't care what comes behind it, nothing or a D or a B. Okay, data is the same story. It's going to the home. This tilde here is a home. To be really sure, and it's not necessary, but inside here are all my uh, scripts. Scripts to get my githubs. Gits to push to the githubs. Gish and, and also a git to push to the calamares githubs. So specific kind of githubs. Same applies here. And same applies here, right? Also here I see one that is going to replace something. For instance, you have Arch Linux D, 12 desktops. I want to replace Scrot with one T with Scrot with two Ts. Well, then this is a great thing to do it. So let's stick with this one first. <laughs> there are other interesting things there, but let's stick with this one. When I then everything is copy pasted, right? So everything, these guys are in my home directory. They will end up here. That's good. Then the next line is go inside my home directory and inside them, any of these guys get a schmot plus X. We've just seen what it was. So executable, are they executable? Right mouse click, properties, permissions. Yes, they are. Nevertheless, I'm gonna try it again because uh, syncing with um, Google Drive. If I put something, you have two computers. On one computer, I'm gonna say X. It's going to sync to the website on Google Drive. I go to the second computer and, and download it again. Well, it's it synced automatically. And then when it's downloaded, it does not contain an executable. 
that's more or less security, right? So that I can't run scripts online on their Google Drive. Okay, so you get it's lost if you go uh, from one computer to the other and intermediary is Google Drive. So to be sure, I say everything that's in there, anything that's in there, asterisk, anything that's in there, put a schmalt plus six, make it executable. Then go inside data. So it's going to go inside data in the home folder, not here, this is the downloads, but um, I have not run the thing. So it's going to go in here. And in here I say git clone me the Arch Linux Nemesis. I always tell you, maybe we should go and have a look. If you go and type Arch Linux com, probably there are articles about it. Probably articles in lots of places. Nemesis is not a separate Arch Linux. It's just the script I use to enhance my system even further. So installing Nemesis on any Arch Linux, for instance, I pay for Spotify. I want to have Spotify, but I don't want to push you to use Spotify. So Spotify is not on the ISO, but afterwards I'll need Dropbox, I'll need InSync, which I'm paying also for. So things that are um, not free, not open source, well, will, will be not on the ISO and it's up to you to make scripts like that to even tweak it further. So that's Arch Linux. Let's have a look. Just wanted to know for myself, does the word Nemesis come across here on Arch Linux D? There are always two sides to check, this one and that one. If you're uh, wondering about something, because here we have also the article about XFC, Openbox i3 and about all the others. And even if you're working on Arch way on, on uh, Arch, it, it's going to be the same, right? Um, it's Arch Linux is based on Arch Linux. So there are mentions, men we mentioned it somewhere, I suppose, because these articles come out. But basically, so that's the Arch Linux Nemesis. You make your own Arch Linux, well, uh, rename it to something else, your own GitHub. There are tutorials online. Why did I close the browser? You are articles, let's see here, Arch Linux D, start here, next, getting ready for the next phases. Why do you need GitHub? Easy, quick, backup, sync it, share it, install it, communicate with others, follow up. So everything can be put online. All the tutorials are here. It's super easy. Use my scripts, push, pull, done. And everything is back up and you're easily up and running. So that's basically what I, why I have a Git. You can have a Git hub, but you can also use GitLab. You can use Bitbucket. You can use, I don't know, you just Google best uh, companies to have Git. Anyway, Arch Linux Nemesis will be installed. Go inside it. And then I'm running all the scripts that I need to have. Use all the cores install the core software, etc., etc., etc. I think now it's about time to run this thing so we can actually see what's going on. All right. So download, get started, right mouse click, open terminal. And then we are going to minimal start it. Maybe you would like to see the difference between these guys, compare. Maybe I should fine tune it again. Let's delete these guys again. So this one needs to, can go. Yahoo is now really gone from our systems. Instead of installing just one, the Nemesis, I just install everything from uh, all my GitHubs from Eric Dubois. You see, that's the difference. This one is good. This one I'm not going to do as well. I'm going to update. And here I update everything from all the GitHubs. That's how easy it is to just hop, save, done. All right. So minimal start. Use the power of melt. I always say that. And I mean that. And I use it. 
updating chromium big bunch of software how much was it again hmm total anyway it's installed oh let's go let's go so last pass he's starting with last pass let's open it up So, last pass, yay! That's this one. Last pass installed. All cores will be used during building and compression. That's gonna be already Eric has changed. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. We should check that one as well. So, copy. Everything is copied, right? Check it. Everything is copied. That one, that one, that one. Then, schmot at Linux data. Is everything schmodded? Properties. Let's just take one. Schmodded. Yes. Then, go inside data. Go inside data. And get me at Linux Nemesis. That's done. So, this line is created as well. Fourth. Execute it as well. Go inside data at Linux. Go inside data at Linux. Nemesis. And start running. So here we are at the line here. That's the end result. All cores will be used during building and compression. We have this already on our system. So just so you know, control H. Bin. Main. Use all cores. It's here. Take a look at other stuff like Samba, install Samba. As of now, Samba will not be installed, nor is network discovery. So if you don't see your computers in your network, run 150. If you want to share stuff with people over the net, well, the net, your home in network, right? Then it's this. This is so much fun and we're installing it here from Nemesis as well. This is for fixed Intel microcode, so for the mitigation things, meltdown and specter stuff, but uh, for microcode for Intel, and this is for microcode for AMD. There are people, just help somebody on the forum, that have issues with our system, because of the kernel, freezes and all that. So here you have the latest, well, the latest, always the latest, but it's the long-term support kernel. That's this one, and you can install that one, and hopefully I hear positive results for people they have a working system again. So it is does really matter, of course, the core of Linux is the kernel. If that's not working for you, you need to change it, simple as that. By the by, I responded to this person on the forum also by Guy. Have a look, just type kernel. There are so many articles about kernel, I was surprised. Okay. There's a Linux mainline kernel, how to install the Linux manager, downgrade the kernel, uh, all these other kernels, Linux, Linux LTS, Linux hardened, Linux N. I'm pretty sure one of them will work. Okay, so have a look. All right, course. I'm trying, going to experiment with flame shots a little while. So it's the screen. I still have to make a icon for it. This one, so flame shot. It's a little thing up down here and maybe I can use to tell people in the forum you have to click here right maybe that's uh, interesting for me okay quit then we've installed let's open it up again so use all the cores fine install core software okay what's core software for me that's stuff that comes from arch So Flameshot, Discord, Dropbox, Greenfetch, Spotify. I've been eliminating a lot of them. So Discord is our channel um, to talk to each other. Dropbox is a cloud service. Screenfetch is another option to have uh, Control T, Screenfetch. And we are in the midst of talking to Screenfetch to have our beautiful logo in there, which is this one and not that one. So that will be coming along some point in time then we install spotify 
and then we're here right so number 200 is getting myself another cloud service but this my time from AUR and it's for Google Drive so InSync is installed done that this is here him installing it and that's why it can't be on our github it's way too big to be allowed to host on github otherwise it would be in third parties so we have to build it later this is a way to have some music but then inside ncm ncm pcp uh, inside a terminal like that and you have uh, music libraries or music files and folders okay and then you put them all in the folder music and you find them just type again in our websites ncm pcpp and you get all the articles radio tray is a, little, a nice little thing gives us music just a little application that's up here down here depending on the desktop i just to made a installed open box and then it's up here and now in xfc it's down here doesn't matter choose your radio chills all these pop rock there will be something in there for you and it just sits here down quietly in the tray kind of like it. yeah i don't want to hear spotify anymore it's gonna be radio tray this guy is a very interesting one if you're a developer platinum searcher is going to search for stuff um like this for instance open terminal here i would like to see if eric is mentioned anywhere the word eric comes in all these uh, folders but why is that interesting well if you want to know where did i put flame shot any of these thousand files has the word flame shot which file is it well it's going to be number 100 on line 18 you'll have flame shot and then you put a hashtag in front of it you don't want to install it if you're developing and if you're making all these packages for Alcanix B, B it's gonna be a long long list of all files and with this little thing whoa it helped me a lot so that's that virtual box you know and Vivaldi white fine is to watch uh, Netflix on Vivaldi and the hard code fixer is the same thing as what we've made recently fix hard-coded icons a nice little icon which actually just runs this one it just runs this line and then the hard-coded icons are fixed the, like I said flame shot I still need to make that one but all the rest should be nice and following the look of the theme if it's a theme for paper papyrus new mix anything um, it will follow it that's the thing they're hard-coded okay what else so and pcp radio tray is installed here radio tray as well as something important up here you can say set minus e if you do that if one of them is broken won't install error all the rest behind it will not be installed as well that's why it says this when you say this option it keeps on trying the next one and the next one and the next one if radio tray is broken platinum searcher will be installed virtual box will be installed etc okay so that's an important thing it's also on the website but it's good that's in the video number 200 210 what's that I separated the guys these guys took way too long to install so on a minimal installation I'm not installing them these are 110 variants of Sardi so lots of of them out there yay Sardi you see there are this is ours this is what we use right number one here and these guys from the AUR if you want to but the rest is variations of the same theme the Masardi comprises of actually okay the brow I thought I had killed the browser again so this is hosted here 
and we have articles over here on Sardi and you should start here. That's what it says here, an overview of the Sardi icons version 9 and the Sardi extra icons. The thing is Sardi is made, created on basis of an SVG, which is just a regular text file that you can edit and change with scripts. So if you say, I want to change the color, you can change the color. If you can change, um, you can change a lot of things and it's all explained. And there are two major things, the flexibility and the modularity. And if you run these scripts, well, you get 120 variants of Sati and you can make one more and two more and three more. And I see people do that and it's marvelous. All the videos are here. Take a look at that. Okay. That been said. That's a set the icons. So I'm not going to run it in this version. Radio tray. Here's radio tray installed. Platinum searcher bin installed. Use PT. VirtualBox is installed here. Oh yes, good tip. If you installed VirtualBox, you should reboot. You will always see an error if you don't reboot. So VirtualBox installed, reboot. We're at version 6.0.0 slash one, minus one. Okay, what's this? VirtualBox installed, I guess. Here is Vivaldi Wi-Fi, Netflix on Vivaldi. Intel U code, so that's installed. Not AMD. You take the AMD one from home slash, uh, sorry, home point bin slash main. There you find your AMD Intel. And here we start with the fun stuff. Okay, let's have a look. Where does that come from? Uh, the funds, we did not install the funds. Let's open this one first. Hard code fixer. Here's Vivaldi white fine, yeah. Here is the line that says hard code fixer. And then we're going to go to 300, install all the fonts. Okay, here's the fonts, the part of the fonts. And then we get the fixed microcode. Okay, in that's this one, Intel U code. And then we're going to the personal stuff. Okay, personal stuff, that's this one, fix. And then the personal stuff. Then we go to number 100. 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 700, and 910. Okay. So 100. I always like my systems to have the same look, so I find everything. If creating virtual private folders we use later. If we are installing Arco Linux, I don't need this anymore. If we're on Arch Linux, I will add my repos and I won't need it anymore. The fonts, yes, the fonts we can keep. Doesn't really matter, it's nice to have around. Same for the icons and the themes. So icons and themes go normally in user share icons and user share themes. But if you put it in here, one, it's your home directory, you can delete it at any time or add it at any time, it's your, your they don't have permission issues. And it will be loaded up as well. And, um, well, depending on the, <laughs> the desktop, Plasma is a special case there. But here we have, this is just creating if the folder does not exist to create it. That's what it says in Dutch, well, in Dutch and English. <laughs> creating personal folders, and they are being created, not being created because I have uh, my script, right? But this will just skip it, so it doesn't hurt either. It just says, oh, I have a, file, a folder there, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, I have a folder, I won't. that's all it does. But this is new, this guy is new. So I use the folder InSync for my Google Drive, my application InSync. So this is created. So when I start InSync, 
the folder is already created and I point to it and say you install all the software there. We've made articles about the bash RC personal. So I've made my bash RC personal copy from the folder settings bash RC personal the file to the home directory. So that's something that I like to do. And in the settings bash RC personal, take a look what a stupid thing I've done. I always type mistakes. So update is update and update is update. And then I have some strange idea all in one, but basically I'm not using it because it's also has the scale in between and that's not really needed all the time. So this is my uh, bash RC personal and that's copy paste it over as well. Basically, if you super shift return, it's here already. This one is loaded and this text is added to the bash RC. Why? Because it's in here. If you have an update, up to date system, then it says last line of almost lies, last line here says go get the aliases from there and include them as well. So that's interesting as well. And that was number 100. Okay. Let me see. Okay, can't do that. Let me do something and show you something about Atom. Let's go to data. You see all my bookmarks are here already. Yeah? That's because of the scripts. Eh? So everything, every system is the same. I never get lost. I have all the bookmarks I need on the side. So Article Linux, right mouse click, open Atom. Gonna help me more because now I have everything here on the side. You can do the same by file add project folder. So we were going into personal in the still here we were and then we go to 200. 200. Okay. So bash RC personal done that. Folders created. These are the lines that uh, are in the scripts. Eh? Personal settings installed. That's this thing. Personal settings install, Firefox install, screenshot install. That's all happening quickly here. Copy pasting stuff over. So once you know your settings and you like your, the way it is, you need to put it somewhere else and you put it back after a clean installation. I want to have GNOME screenshot to be able to run, uh, to, to save as GPG rather than PNG for the websites. Some scripts changing for um, well, for the icons for simple screen recorder, I change those so they are the same color like these guys. Sublime text idem, the same. And then we are already at the fun stuff. And the fun stuff is something you have as well. Super shift return. Go inside bin, go inside main. And this one is the same version as that one should be. Yeah, but I've changed um, the only one thing. And the update will come soon. Control find, go top. Yeah, that's still to be updated. I changed it to bin, which is an, an easier way to, faster way to install. Not easier, but faster. Um, oh, we were here. Eh? Uh huh. Fun apps. So version three it is today and uh, updates will follow along that's the only difference then we have here something that's specific for my pc and i was trying it out to make a little script here because cinnamon we re realized with the help of uh, somebody on, on youtube i think i don't know which social media it was again somebody says eric you need to fix it on um, cinnamon you need to have this and that setting for cinnamon so i've made a choice here select the current desktop if you're in cinnamon choose one then i do this and otherwise it's just a normal thing that i did in the past so there's a new element in here helping me to record because that's why i do it that's for the recording so nobody needs that for real but i need it 
because of the fact that I record so much and I don't want any jitter. So this was basically what I, we need to have, Excel method UXA, which gives uh, my videos no lag or no jitter or no um, trouble and frustration. Then the plasma specific stuff, at this point no, nothing anymore. And this is a new one since yesterday or so, yeah, yesterday I think. Let's make it a little bit bigger. When we type Control Alt T and we type D message, then we get a lot of these guys in. These these are, are horrible, these audit things. And it gives us an, a bunch of, of stuff that's, that's um, difficult to watch. And the longer you work on the system, the longer this, this list gets and it's frustrating. And whoops, I think I closed it now. And um, that's why we made this um, script, Nick, Nick and I, where is my script now? This one. We investigated and we saw that if we changed the grub, so if we changed this file and this element of the file into that element of the file, audit is zero, then it works. You need to update the grub, of course, but then uh, all these messages will be gone on my next reboot, of course. So that's uh, one last new thing that I've added to see less uh, comments there because their warnings are not really uh, errors or anything. So that's uh, the latest. Did we see everything now? So let's scroll. So all these C matrix stuff are all coming from fun. So a lot of things we can scroll a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, if you don't know what fun is, yes, I suppose you do know what fun is, but fun on our Linux. Then let's see here this website. I believe we have somewhere a right widget telling we have a fun script, but it's taking a bit long to see. Let's see about this one. Fun script. Uh, it's loaded up here. So we refer to you to this to check out all the possibilities, all the images, all the nice things we have. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play around with. Certainly if you want to make screenshots, then it's interesting to use. So going all down the list, let's see where it's, it stops. So this is all fun, still fun. You fetch git is still fun. And this is this line 910 is this line. And I wonder if this is going to be installed. I don't think so. Let's have a look. I closed it. get started just decided to get rid of it yep I just decided to get rid of it so that's why that's no one is not running so you just change scripts you reuse and reuse where is this script can I reuse yes you can please do github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Linux number this I will never be able to change the name again and all the videos and all the articles point to it all you need to do is just click on the button download zip right download zip right mouse click open a new window go to the download let's delete this stuff and then extract here and then you say I'm gonna make myself I don't know uh, Linux Spock. That's your name to gather all your scripts and you start changing elements because you saw install core software, you don't want flame shot. You get rid of it. Well, my best advice is just to put a hashtag in it. You can, of course, delete and say, I don't want this cord and you don't want that one as well. Save. And this is going to be your thing, right? Now, the fun part is. If you go, uh, if you use this and 
later on you go and check what has Eric changed. Let's get this one. Let's get it in downloads. This is mine. This is yours. All you need to do in the future of one month from now is say, let's see what Eric came up with. And then you see, oh, he made some changes. Uh, should I take it? Should I not take it? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Up, oh, It's safe to yours. It's safe to Nemesis again, from Spock to Nemesis. Uh, okay. Here as well, you go and check and say, okay. And that's how you can do this. Okay. I have to go open the door. So the video is at an end. Enjoy.